Hello there, my name is Cryptolyzer and today I want to present to you my first uh, Python script for the Streamlabs chatbot, the welcome mat script. How you use it and especially how to set it up because uh, like I recognize there are many uh, people who don't really uh, know what to do, how you can add welcome messages and um, yeah they have problems because the chat but uh, spams the chat uh, with messages and so on and yeah today in this video I want to show you how you prevent these spams and how you can really correctly set up your um, welcome mat script and how you customize it. Before I really start this video I want to say um, that you have ex to excuse me for my bad English. So I'm uh, from Germany and it could also be that you see some German words, but uh, they should uh, not matter to you. So let us start. Uh, you have installed the script and this is what you basically get. So I turned it on already. And um, yeah, if you don't have the uh, 1.0.0.1 version, you should get an update um, which comes with this video and uh, in this update I fixed a bit with the welcome messages and yeah some other bug fixings like the comments so you should get this version before you uh, go on with the video but okay let's start with the first part of setting the script up uh, with the command part so we have two commands in the script and there comes a discord message. The first command is the show viewer command and the second is the show messages command. So what they basically do is uh, really simple. So <laughs> the show viewer command shows your viewers that uh, the bot uh, has listed and show messages shows your welcome messages. So uh, we can try that out. Just go in our on our Twitch chat and type in that's annoying. Okay, uh, and type in show viewers. Or was it? Oh, sorry. Show viewer. Of course, you can um, change it in there, and you should get an immediate response from the chatbot uh, who says here all your mm -hmm, amount of euros <laughs> uh, in my case there are three because that's uh, just a test file and yeah it shows you all your euros in uh, sorted alphabetically and their join date in brackets and so messages yeah, there I wrote messages <laughs> and it says you have so and so many welcome messages and it also prints it out to you. So these um, these comments also work for the Discord of course, like you can see in here. The show viewer uh, command and also the um, messages command works uh, the same as the uh, the same as in the Twitch chat. So you can customize it here if you want another command for this or another prefix, and also the permissions who is able to use this. So who can see the welcome messages and who can see uh, which viewers already joined your stream. Also permission info like you. Um, yeah, like we have in other scripts or other parts of the Serum chatbot. So that's basically it to the common settings and let us step to the yeah bigger and more problematic parts. So the welcome messages and uh, first I want to do is show you the default message. Uh, for that I clicked on this button to print all the messages in the log and we can see if you go on this little icon, which says logs, uh, our 
bugger messages. So we only have one with the ID one and uh, yes, that, that's basically it. So not really much to say to do this one. If we now want to add a new welcome message, we can write our message here like uh, uh, you are welcome, you are. So this, this part here is replaced with the name of the viewer. Uh, to my stream. And after we are finished with typing this in, we go and press save settings. So there, oh yeah, and yeah, you can see down here that we successfully added this message to our uh, message list. I will wait. I first clear the log so that you can see that a little bit better, and then print out all messages again. And as you can see, we have now two messages, and our new message has the ID two. So. Uh, after you have added a um, welcome message, a new one, you should clear this field up. Uh, it doesn't really matter in the newer version because I um, set up a block. Like there can can't be two messages which have the same uh, value in the message list. If I click save settings again, uh, doesn't matter how often I click and. We sh let us show the welcome messages. It's uh, still only two and not like ten times uh, this message. But I will just delete this out there. So if you have now your new welcome messages edited and or edit and want to remove the default one, then you. Uh, want to mind this ID. So welcome to the community viewer is the default one and we want to remove that. So we want to remove the message of the message ID one. Uh, so we type in a one in here and press save settings. And then we get a message that says will you remove the message blah blah blah. So after we now print all the messages to the log again we see that we only have our new message. But be careful, this message uh, has now the message ID 1 and not 2. So it's um, really important that you make a 0 out of that 1 again. Because if you now go on and... Uh, yeah, okay, I changed something with the commands over here and press save settings again, it will delete again the message with the message ID 1. So our uh, messages would be empty now. And uh, this is also a bit of a problem here. Also we have a checkbox which says send welcome messages. I think it's clear what it does. Also there are all over the place here tooltips which should explain uh, things we have no like uh, the pro tip here with whispering to users I can uh, yeah let us add a new welcome message with a whisper and you do that like that so you have a slash with w and uh, again this viewer parameter and uh, now comes your real message so that's only for twitch okay send a direct message or a whisper message to this viewer which says hello. Save settings and we can print all and we have now one message for the public chat and one for the uh, whisper chat. So if we want to try this out, I'll remove that for safety. We come to the next uh, part to delete a single viewer part. So if you want to remove a single viewer from your list, you can enter his name in here. 
And before you press the delete viewer button, you have to press the save settings button. And then the delete viewer button. And so that's a uh, thing with the CMIPS chatbot uh, config and how the Python scripts have access to these text fields and so on. And uh, oh, I think I didn't press the button the right way. Yeah, okay. Now uh, we can see that the welcome at script says, "Yeah, okay, if your cryptos are successfully removed from the list, and uh, right next to it that I joined the stream for the first time because uh, yeah, I'm." Still online on my uh, on the Twitch website, and it says "Welcome, Cryptolizer, to my stream." Like our first uh, welcome message. So, welcome, Cryptolizer, to my stream, and then we should have a direct or whisper message, which shows down here. So, uh, yeah, I can clear it script out again. So this is how you remove viewers from your list. And if you want to remove all the viewers, or if you want to clear your list, then this part becomes handy. So, but it's a little bit risky and dangerous because you really delete all your viewers, and that's why you have to make some, um, yeah, also, uh, uh, some secure settings like check this checkbox, press save settings, and then delete all viewers. And you should see them deleted all viewers. And of course, these three are still online on my channel, so they directly join again. And this is the way how you can clear your viewer list. I don't really know when you will need it, but yeah, maybe. Uh, can use this. Also this last uh, option you have here is just simple uh, to print all your viewers in the log. So nothing special with that join date like in the Twitch chat and Discord chat. And now I want to show you something a bit special for the more advanced people or uh, for the people who say oh yeah but it's Awful to just uh, first delete my message and then, like, if I want to edit a message that's not possible right yet, I have to delete this message and then add a new one. And that's a bit of annoying, so um, for the more advanced people, I want to show you something special. So, right click in this field here, or I think in, on this question mark, and open the script directory. Oh, it's on the other screen and there you have your old scripts you can also see in here and uh, access this welcome at directory and you can see a bunch of files in here so the files the file that uh, matters to us is the custom settings dot json and you can edit this with or open this with notepad or uh, like I use notepad plus plus and these would, and you would see something like this. And this is the save file where the script stores your messages and your viewers. So um, yeah, and in this file you can directly edit your messages, uh, delete them, add new one, or edit your viewers, uh, and so on. But before we're gonna do this, we have to completely close our uh, streamers chatbot because uh, if we don't do that and just reload the script, it's overwriting our new uh, changes in here. We close this, yes, yeah, and uh, then we can edit uh, our messages like we want. So here we can now. We added messages. Hello. Uh, you are. 
Uh, uh, let us just say hello here. It's enough. So just a little editing and let us add some more message like hello world. I'm really bad in creative things. <laughs> so yeah. Um, important is that you write a comma here, but though not for the last entry, the last item that's uh, very important. And you should make a backup file before you edit your real file, uh, your real file, because if you just forget one comma or something, um, yeah, you can just crash this whole file. Because if you now open Streamlabs chatbot again, yeah. Uh, so okay, after this short cut, because OBS is sometimes shitty, <laughs> uh, we are now in our Streamlabs chatbot again, and uh, we keep in mind that we didn't uh, write a comma in here. And if we now wait, should it reload? Maybe it saves it? No? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's completely empty now because the bot says, oh, that's not a valid uh, JSON file I have there because one single comma is missing. Uh, yeah, so I reset all to default and destroy all the work you had with it. <laughs> so that's really risky to edit something in this file, but uh, as long as you make a backup file, you should be fine. So that's basically all I have to say to this script. Um, yeah, if you want more, then like this video, subscribe to my channel. The videos that appear normal, uh, that normally appear here, are in German, of course. <laughs> and uh, but maybe I want to do another tutorial video to my auto of scripts. That's my second one. So, thank you for visiting uh, my video and for using this script. Uh, I am trying my best to make it at as good as I can for you. And yeah, I hope uh, this video could help you a bit further to uh, yeah, take a look behind the script. If you have any uh questions or something like that you can directly write to me a message in the script talk with an add cryptolyzer i will res i tr or try to respond immediately and yeah hopefully see you in the next video